I just wanted to do a video on my lunch break about all the new um, videos that I'm seeing where people are acknowledging minorities and black people specifically. I have to say that I'm slightly annoyed. I'm happy that it's happening. I'm so happy it's happening, but it's hard for me to see these things happening when I know that sometimes they're only happening because you want to bring light to what's happening to black people. And I see a lot of producers and like YouTubers and Instagram people and Facebook people showing black people on their page now. And I'm like, where were they before? You know, where were they before? Are you doing, and I'm, and I'm just curious, are you doing this because it's like a trend? Or are you doing this because you genuinely care? You know, um, I'm black and I feel like I don't see a lot of people who look like me out there. And not even just like me, people who have much more melanin, like my grandmother. She's way darker than I am, you know? And I, and I feel, I feel slightly annoyed um, by this thought where I keep seeing people featuring black people now. And I think it's a wonderful thing that's being done, but I can't help but feel like, where, where, were, where were you before? Um, especially people who are very famous authors who have been down with the movement for so long. It's like, why all of a sudden are you putting people in here? If you've been for, you know, Black Lives Matter or empowerment things, you know, for people of color, specifically black people, like for so long, I'm like, if you've been down with a movement, I'm looking through your, your Instagram pages and your Facebook and your YouTube, I'm like, you still only had people of a certain economic bracket and ethnic background and race, which is a social construct in your videos and in your, um, on your social media platforms. So I'm just like, are you genuinely down for the movement? Because the people that I know that have been down with the movement have consistently had, if they are doing interviews, had people of color on there, have consistently been like, okay, people are oppressed. So I, I just, I find myself a little bit um, skeptical of people who are just now suddenly posting things. And I'm trying not to name any names, but there are some really big influencers that I'm looking and I'm like, wow, you haven't had any people of color at all. And I know it's a balance of like, okay, well, sometimes I have to search a little bit more, but it's not hard. I mean, I can go on YouTube and Google, Instagram, Facebook, and find people that are doing phenomenal things, Black-owned businesses. Um, and I'm talking about Black people specifically because I'm a Black person. And, you know, that's my, my minority background. Um, and I can find people that are influencers. It's not hard to find. So I'm just like, you're you, some people who have even more influence than I do who are who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you know, have not been promoting people, um, black people for a long time in their videos. So I'm like, are you genuinely doing this? I, I you know, there are some books that I've read and I don't want to name them, but some very popular books that I've read that are just, that are about the, the problems that, um, that face people who are of a certain economic bracket and people of a certain race that, you know, seems to be in many ways superior um, in terms of how people perceive it um, or how it's been made, like the social contracts of white, whiteness being, you know, here and everyone else is down here. Um, so, yeah, I just was looking through my Facebook and my Instagram and and mostly my Instagram because that's where I feel like all these one-on-one -on -one interviews are happening. And um, I just find myself slightly annoyed by by this and um if you i if you were not screaming you know black lives matter when trayvon martin was shot um back to that time or even before that when you know there's racism and you look at poverty and you look at okay well what communities are being affected the most um in the world and like how am i benefiting from this because i'm literally working off the backs of people who are of color like and this is not a video to be root to be you know angry but it, it, it makes me feel like okay well I'm following you you have all these following and and I'm you know reading these amazing books so I'm like where were you in this other time so I can't help but feel like skeptical of certain people that are that are famous and also you know there are some books that I've been that I've read that I've gotten a lot of uh help from and I've have really helped me in some podcasts but I'm also kind of like with this thought process that I have, I'm starting to evaluate, like I'm rereading some books I'm, and I'm rereading some interviews and some people. And with this thought process I have, I'm starting to reevaluate if, if I'm actually gaining information from 
these people because I'm like, it, it's hard for me when I have this thought to be like, okay, well, now that I am acknowledging this, I'm like, do I actually want to look at your content? Because is it genuine? And I understand that there's a balance between in every single race, ethnic background, economic bracket that everyone is trying to hustle out here and hustle, hustle, hustle. So sometimes like people get behind, left behind, but I'm also like, I don't know. It's just a thought that I have. And it's, it's something that I find over the past, maybe, um, so it's February now. I've been feeling this way since, since before, I mean, for a long time, because I, I but I've but I've been looking at newer influencers and people who have kind of come up in the last two or three years. And I'm like, now we're the past year specifically, I've had this very strong thought now that I'm more clear headed and, and like, you know, on an antidepressant and I'm able to like think about things that are more important instead of like always having, you know, always being depressed and my mind is cloudy. But now I'm just like, wow, like there's so many people and so much stuff out there that I have. Um, so many books and and in podcasts and all these great authors and stuff that I'm like, where, I just can't help but ask the question, like, where were you be, when all this stuff was, you know, hitting the fan? Like, it's not like it just happened. You know, I just, it's a very frustrating thought because I think people have great content, but I wonder, I wonder, and I'm happy for this surge of like interviews of black people and, and being like Black Lives Matter in some places, but I'm also like, just where were you? Where the heck were you when like this, when this was really important? And it's never like, it's not like it has never been important, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, um, that's just my thought for the day. But anyways, bye.